You know WhatsApp has over 2 billion users worldwide. That means that 1 in 4 people use WhatsApp. If you're like me, you're probably also familiar with the WhatsApp profession that looks just like this. Chakra UI has improved the way we think about styling and building web components. And today, we're going to be learning how to build this WhatsApp web UI version using Chakra UI. So, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is identify the different parts of the UI. At a glance, we can see that the UI is made up of a left and right panel. We can further divide the left panel into three parts. Header, Search Panel, and Chat List. Doing this can immediately help us know the components we need to create even before going into our code editor. Now that that's out of the way, let's go over to VS Code to start writing some code. For this project, I'm going to use Vit, so let's install it using the command yarn create Vit. Next up, let's install Chakra UI. Finally, we we'll complete the setup by wrapping the Chakra provider at the root of our application. The Chakra provider serves as a context that passes the styles to all Chakra UI components. From the design, we need to add an avatar and two tips with these icons. I've created an icons.jsx file and put in the SVG components for all the icons. Now we can create a header.jsx file. Notice this is a tool tip with an icon and label. That means we need to add an icon data array containing the icons and the label. So let's do that. I'll also create a custom tooltip component that we would map over and use in our header component. Now to build our header, we import the avatar component. We give it the necessary styles and horizontally stack the array of two tip icons we created earlier. To have the avatar and two tips on the same line, we grab flex and wrap it around both components. Now we pass in the necessary style props to flex. We pass in styles like the background color, justify, that's the space between, and some padding. Let's see what we have so far. Sweet. Next, let's build out the search panel. From the design, we see that there's an input field containing a search icon and a placeholder. On the right side, we also notice a tooltip. In the editor, I'll create a search panel.jsx file and import each tag to wrap both the input group and the tooltip. Inside the input group, I insert the input left element that holds the search icon. I also add in the styles for input. Similar to the custom tooltip we created earlier, 
we can add a tooltip for the filter tooltip. Of course, you can modify the custom tooltip and make it work here, but I'm going to build out a new tooltip for this. So let's add some more styles to each stack, a horizontal padding of 4, a vertical padding of 2, border bottom of 1 pixels and the border color and let's see what we have. Looking at the chart list, you'll notice the main component is the chart component. The chart component is rendered multiple times based on the chart data to make the chart list component. So first, I'll create a chart list.jsx file and go ahead to build the chart component at the top of this file. On hover, there's a background color and a pointer cursor. I've already added in the data for the chart list, but in an ideal scenario, this data will likely be coming from an API. Now I can go ahead to build out the chart list component, and this is the perfect place to use the stack component because each chart is going to be stacked on top of another. You also notice from the design that there's a divider between each chart. To do this, let's import the stack divider and pass the divider prop to stack. From the design, you'll notice that the divider doesn't span the entire width, so I can give it a width of 82% and set align self to flex end. I then map over the chart data to generate the chart list. At the moment, we lay out the header, search panel, and chart list components in app. But how about we group them into a left panel component? That way, we can easily flex left panel with the right panel for the UI to be complete. So, I'll create a left panel.jsx file and I'll add in all of those components we've built. Now that the left panel is completed, let's go over to build the right panel. From the design, the right panel is fairly straightforward. We have a div with a background color and a green bottom border. Inside this div, we have content like an SVG, a header, text, and a bottom text that says end-to-end -end description. I'll create a right panel, the JSX file, and build out the right panel component here. The content is centered, so I import center and pass in the necessary styles.
Now we can pass the flex component and make the direction column. Inside flex, I'll lay out the general icon, which is the SVG, the heading, the text, and all of this are wrapped in a box. From the design, you'll notice that the end-to-end -end encryption text is at the bottom of the right panel. To do this, I can grab the absolute center component from Chakra UI and wrap it around its stack. Of course, we need to absolutely position this relative to the parent div, so we pass a position relative to the center component. Now, let's flex the left panel with the right panel. At this instant, I can make the width for the left panel 30% and 70% for the right panel. Now you'll notice the entire screen is scrolling, which is not what we want. We want the chat list component to scroll and the orders to stay fixed. To make that work, I'll add a height of 100 VH to the entire container. In the left panel, I'll group header and search panel together. And flex them with chat list component. This makes it possible for me to then add a flex one and overflow auto to chat list to make it scroll the way it should. Let's see the beauty we've created so far. Lovely, everything looks sleek and this is really what we want. In this video, we focused on the UI layout, but you can go further with this by adding more functionalities like adding a menu or getting the chat to show up. There's so much that you can do when it comes to building your eyes with Chakra. And because of the developer experience that comes right out of the box, like using style pops, it makes the development process a whole lot faster. You'll find the source code for this project in a GitHub repo. The link is in the description box below. If there's any questions you have at all, or anything else you love to see built with Chakra UI, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to keep calm and use Chakra UI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.